Poof. Gonna film this way today because my computer is exporting a 4K clip for a client and it's making an awful racket. So there's my yellow wall. What do you think? What's up everybody? David from DoD Media and today I want to do a quick quick tutorial on how you can improve your workspace in Premiere Pro so that you can edit more easily, you can find your files more easily, you can import them, affect them, affect them, everything more easily. Okay, so straight off the bat, this is what your Premiere Pro layout is likely to look like in the editing panel. And you may not be on an ultra wide screen like I am, it might be a 16 by 9 screen, in which case your layout is probably a little bit more like that. But that doesn't matter, because really what we're going to be doing is maximizing your space regardless of what screen you're on. Now, what I mean by maximizing your space is just look at all of the active parts of the screen that you use. You use the timeline, you use the uh, project browser, you use the effect controls up here and the source monitor and you use your program monitor. The problem is that the program monitor and the source monitor, they don't actually use all of that screen space and it's a waste. You've got these huge gray parts here and here and here and here when you load up a clip and that is just a waste of space and it's even more so on an ultra wide screen like this. And if you're like me, you're gonna be spending most of your time up in this editing panel up here. You only go into color when you're there, you know, when you're ready to color correct or into audio when you're ready to actually mix down the audio. But even then, you don't spend that much time there. You're really just in, in the editing for the most part of it. So what I've done to maximize this is really simple. All I've done is I've come over to this panel here that's got my project, some media browser, markers, libraries. You might have other stuff here like metadata, effects, that kind of thing, that's, that's fine. Just leave that all in there. Just click and drag, and drag it to the side there until it turns green. Then let go, and that's gonna be like, ah, what are you doing? But that's fine. Then all you need to do is drag that back to a nice healthy kind of distance, like maybe there, that's good. And then you wanna drag your sequence back so that all of your tools are just lined up nicely there and your sequence has a lot of screen space. And you don't need your audio peaks to be that big. So, you know, just make them nice and small. And now what you have is a workspace that actually maximizes the environment. So this here is reduced and on a 16 by nine screen, this should be pretty much non-existent. Um, if I just drag this along in here, 16 by nine screen, you're really filling the window with everything that you need to be filling. Uh, and you're seeing everything that you need to be seeing. This means that you can have all of your files loaded up here in a nice row you can open them all, you can see them all, without having to operate within this tiny little window here. And trust me, you save so much time using it this way. Once you're done changing that layout, and it is such a simple step, but it's really worth doing. Once you're done doing that, come up to, uh, I mean, I'm on this one because I'm already using my editing layout. But if you come up to the, the layout that you were on, so say it's editing, you just drop down these little uh, three lines and save changes to this workspace. And there you go. Now, whenever you load up this workspace, it's gonna load up with this arrangement in mind so you can just hit the ground running. All right, that's all from me. I hope you learned something useful. I hope you apply this to your workflow and it speeds it up for you and makes it easier. So hit that subscribe button to get more videos from DoD Media. Give it a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't like what you saw, but I don't know why you do that to my self-esteem. If you'd like to get in touch about anything, there's a contact form in the description. And as always, write me a little jig or something in the comments and you might get something free from my store. Cheers. Everyone else has really impressive knives for opening packages, but uh, knife laws are slightly more strict in the UK, so it's the best I got.